Hey, buddy, what's going on? Eric C. here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So yesterday I decided to start installing the upgrades to my PC. Now I have a AMD uh, Razon 9 and it's the 95 or 5900X, which is a uh, AM4. And you need a Pacific cooling system for that, at least the brackets for installing the new cooling system. Now, what I ended up doing, and what this is where I had the problem was, is the PC was shutting so itself off on its own. I could restart it, but anytime there was a little bit of a load on the PC, it would shut itself off. So I downloaded a program that's free, and it's basically uh, like a motherboard monitor, okay? And there is in, not in BIOS, but if you hit F2 on my computer, there is a program in there that shows uh, for you know setting up things that actually shows this as well now what I wanted to do is I want to be able to use the PC and put a little bit of a load on it to see what as far as temperature voltage RPMs of, as far as the fan speed goes if anything was failing or anything overheating or voltage were changing pretty bad so I downloaded this program and I noticed that part of the CPU was getting pretty hot. Now, a lot of these programs are in Celsius, so if you find one that can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and uh, in my case, Fahrenheit is kind of the overall as far as temperature goes, mine was getting up to like 206 degrees, only on two parts of the CPU. The other parts were staying around... Uh, I want to say like like 289 something like that close to 290 and it seemed like those only two threads that were on the cpu were kind of like overheating and then once it got up to a certain point computer shut off restarting the computer again and kind of noticed the same pattern going on check the voltages on everything voltage was not fluctuating at all so kind of me by putting a upgraded power supply inside there really didn't have to but I did anyways. Sometimes when my computer is, I leave it on 24 seven. And basically what happens is uh, capacitors can start to wear out and bulge. Uh, fans can start getting clogged with dust and dirt. Fan speeds can start to vary as far as RPMs go because of they're constantly running. And issues could occur. So I ended up replacing my power supply anyways. Got new memory for it. So this is the old memory that I took out of the computer. Now this is only 32 and uh, I'm putting in 64. So yeah, it's not very flashy. I mean, it doesn't have the lights and shit on there the way that, you know, the new ones has. But again, sometimes flashy isn't better. You know, I'm more concerned about performance than how well it looks. So the CPU that was in, or the CPU cooler that was in this one here was the Cooler Master Lite. All right. And the Lite probably meaning because it's got a smaller radiator. Um, not too sure if the pump is the same pump or a different pump than the newer one. Now, this one here is pretty flashy as well. It's got an infinity mirror inside there. So when the LED is turned on, it kind of like goes to infinity. But I noticed that upon startup of the computer, it started making a noise. And it's like, okay, well, I checked out all the fans checked everything else that's a moving component component and nothing else was putting out any type of a sound and I found this thing here okay maybe it's faulty something's going on with the pump so I ordered the same brand name the cool master it seems to be a pretty decent pump but I ended up getting the third gen of this style but I got the bigger radiator double fan this one had a fan in the front and a fan in the back uh, and it's supposed to be a better pump, it's supposed to be like redone, so it's more efficient and everything else. And plus the reviews that I read online about the light seems like, and I don't mean light as far as light bulbs or shit like that, that's what they call this. Uh, there was issues with this thing and a lot of people were complaining because of the pump would be faulty, there would be something that would mess up with it, noise, whatever. So okay, I upgraded that, that was a good upgrade for this PC. Now, as far as what I'm going to do with this old one, I don't know. Because if there is something wrong with it, and like I said, it was making noises, you know, it's basically trash. 
So I got all my wiring put in. I got the new CPU cooler put in. I uh, got all my wiring kind of to where it's all hidden and stuff. And I go to install the new pump on top of the CPU with these stupid fucking brackets. All right. Now, as you can see, these brackets are broke. There's supposed to be a tab off to the side over here. These hooks attach to those tabs and you tighten these things up to where this is sitting secure on top of your CPU along with the uh, thermal paste between here. Don't forget the thermal paste. So I don't know if the person who built my PC tightened those tabs too tight and made the bracket break. Now, one bracket was like barely hanging on. This side over here was completely broken off. So there hence is my partial CPU heating problem. Not the whole CPU was getting hot, just a portion of it was, and the computer turning itself down. So I have a metal bracket that's on the back of the motherboard, and these guys here are plastic, all right? Now the new uh, cooling system comes with brackets that are for anything for, uh, like this one's too big, and this one's too big, but it comes with the ones for, um, Ah, what is it? Uh, Intel's, okay. And then it comes with the mounting brackets for each side of the pump for this. They don't come with, this th This kit does not come with a bracket for AMD, nor does it come with the brackets that the tabs lock onto, but it does come with new of these for AMD. These brackets here comes with new ones. Now, I don't really need to take these things off. I could have if I wanted to kind of recycle them, but I ended up using the new parts. The only problem is, is the new parts don't work unless you have working clips for brackets for those clips to lock onto. So this is the problem. And I ended up looking online as far as uh, finding anything that's made out of any other material besides plastic, all right? And there isn't any. So, and there's a lot of complaints about these things as well. Now, there are some people saying that they only last for like a, like three years and then they start to fail. They start to wear out and the plastic starts to pull off and stuff. Well, you're not supposed to torque your CPU cooler down to this. Again, you know, this is plastic. You're not supposed to tighten it up so tight to where they're going to pop within a few minutes. Uh, but you do want to have your CPU secured on top of your cooler, secured on top of your CPU. And again, you want to use thermal paste, you know, on here so it transfer heat, tra heat transfer is much better in keeping things a lot cooler so me and my father came up with an idea we have the tools we have the equipment to do this and we're gonna come up with something better than this and really I mean there's a bridge here that goes across there are some parts underneath this bracket here that are on the motherboard but make this out of something stronger we can make this higher and shorten that up and not have to worry about it. so it's an idea we came up with you can't buy anything other than plastic you can get a metal back plate you can get a brass back plate uh, but you cannot get anything else than these guys here now yeah we're gonna work on that <laughs>